Oh, that hurt. Now, have you ever done that? Hit a serve and then whack yourself in the shin? At the high level, you rarely see players hitting themselves in the leg or the arm, yet at the recreational level, it's very frequent to see players whacking themselves in different body parts. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you why these things are happening and how you can avoid it. So let's start off with the forehand. Sometimes players will whack themselves in the arm on the forehand finish. And this is easily avoidable if you simply tuck the non-dominant arm in. I call this the handshake tuck. So basically, as you start your rotation, the arm should not stay straight as you're rotating, but simply you should tuck it in and end up in the handshake position. And as you tuck the arm in, now the body has a free area to work with here. There's nothing in the way. You're gonna be making contact with the dominant shoulder in front. The arm is already gonna be tucked in and now there's nothing in your way. You can, you can easily finish with the racket going all the way across the body. Now there's two ways you're gonna whack yourself in the shin on the serve. Number one, there's some players who will stand in an open stance like this when they're serving. This is very frequent at the recreational level. So if you're standing like this and you're serving, the racket as it comes around the body, it's gonna go towards your leg and you have a high chance to hit yourself and the simple fix is to get into a proper stance what you must do is get your non-dominant foot further across than your dominant foot usually i like to line it up with the heel of the front foot to the middle of the back foot and this does not have to be exact you can play around a little bit but as long as this non-dominant foot is across the dominant foot now as you're serving you will not have the leg in the way as you're finishing across the body now i have seen some recreational players who do have a correct stance and still whack themselves in the shin and the reason is they're they are attempting a flat serve but they are not rotating the torso so if i hit a flat serve and don't rotate i have a high chance to hit myself in the leg because the racket is unlikely going to go across the body here it's naturally going to go towards my leg if i don't rotate because on the flat serve we have more of a forward swing path and you can see here as i finish it's going right towards my leg and the simple fix is to simply rotate your torso when you're attempting a flat serve so basically as you're hitting that flat serve with the forward swing path you're going to allow the racket to go across the body by rotating your torso see naturally as you rotate into the ball the racket will not go towards the leg but will rather go towards your left pocket if you're right-handed and if you do that if you rotate properly on your flat serve you will never whack yourself in the leg now on the slice serve and the kick serve there's less of a danger to hit yourself because the swing path is going more lateral so on a lateral swing path the racket will most of the time and never reach the legs so you on a slicer the finish is usually a little bit higher like this and the racket scoops around and then goes back up and on a kick serve often the racket never gets to your leg anyway and stops somewhere around here and where I see the most recreational players whack themselves in the leg is the overhead and what happens with a lot of players is they don't set the overhead up correctly they are too open when waiting for the overhead now if you're going to be set up like this on your overhead and then you take a hard fast swing because let's face it most players when they get an overhead they hit it pretty hard and if you set up like this you have a big danger to not only whack yourself in the shin uh, it could go at an even worse area so what you have to do in the overhead is you have to turn completely sideways just like you would on the serve now the leg doesn't have to go behind it can be parallel to each other and then you have to keep your shoulders sideways now as the ball comes you're going to have your non-dominant arm up in the air you're going to have your chin over your non-dominant shoulder and now you have to remember when you hit your overhead really hard you have to utilize torso rotation when you do that when you're sideways and then you rotate into the ball you see naturally the racket will go around the body and there's absolutely no danger in hitting yourself in the shin i don't really hit myself in the leg when i serve so in today's video i had to crack myself in the leg on purpose and let me tell you it hurts really bad i didn't just do one take i had to take several takes and i developed a little bit of a bump here a little bit of a bruise but i don't care if i can help you in this video to avoid whacking yourself ever again then it was worth the pain ah Ah! Oh! Oh! Oh yeah, they're hurt. 